Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be doing what was voted for, a uh, Brazil Civil War, State Civil War. Now, next we'll do Australia and then Russia, but Australia is going to be groups of tribes instead of actual states now, pre the pre-colonial tribes Australia, so we'll see how that goes. Um, now, Brazil's a questionable thing, so this I'm pretty sure is the capital, so I'm sure um, they'll be strong, but we'll say like there's some fascists coming, of, coming out of the south, because you know, that's where Argentina is, and that's kind of where all the people fled, um, you know, democratic, and then communist, and you know, all that stuff. But, uh, uh, this is going to be a crazy thing. First, we're going to have a Brazil actually start him, uh, liberating, uh, most of the stuff around it. And most, most people aren't going to re be really able to stand up against them as they are, have the most manpower here, or one of the most manpower besides probably the fascists who are recruiting everyone they have in their country and every time something happens it's most likely going to just be full annexation full annexation it's all it ever is in this world it's always full annexation which is uh, pretty normal for civil wars Obviously, being Brazil, they don't want to go too, you don't want to, in the Civil War, expand too far out, but we'll call this the People's Republic of Amazonia. These, the, these two are the, are the two People's Republic of Amazonia, and yes, like the Amazon, um, they get called in, because I guess they put on a lot, they, they had an alliance. These two would have an alliance against the these guys, and uh, all their troops are down here and kind of just steamroll. They have border defenses everywhere, as that's kind of what they do. And you know, you got little border fights, maybe like super, super small fightings going on around the border, like some breakthroughs happening, like police forces breaking through, kind of before the army comes and it starts causing problems as they start chunking them and their police force is stronger than this guy's military because the military here is supported by Venezuela and guess what Venezuela doesn't even have enough money and stuff to f support its own military so obviously all they have is guns like no armor or anything so kind of just getting beat by police forces and then the army arrives, and this is what it looks like before the army arrives, and this is what it looks like after the army arrives. Pretty simple, right? You know, makes sense as a... You can't really stand up when your army is literally, like, nothing. Whenever your army's nothing, you can't really do much. And uh, it kind of shows here as uh, the People's Republic of Amazonia um, uh, go ahead and annexes these guys and these guys. Uh, but yeah, you know, that's how it goes here. Um, full annexation. Now they can script everyone from these territories. This is the national. National. Amazonian Republic, so nationalist, which is fascist. Yay, so happy, so these guys hate each other, but kind of go militaristic after everyone kind of declares on war around them. The communists are thinking about it, but they're also thinking of maybe helping them and splitting some parts of stuff up, and you know, it's looking like what Germany and Soviets did. They're going to go ahead and split uh, this up, although this is probably what it would not happen. They probably wouldn't join the war exactly. They just joined to split some stuff up 
just some, not all, so that Germany, or sorry, not Germany, the Nationalist Republic, Amazonian Republic, uh, doesn't have to pay attention down south and the very opposite, they don't have to pay attention up north so they obviously push in a lot because they had all their stuff ready because they knew this was going to happen so they were going after next um you know they can go ahead and kind of just let's be honest these guys just they only have the coast and water and forest so yeah and same down here they're technically encircled and they don't have any land i mean coast borders so can't really do much with that. Uh, uh, they go ahead and do a kind of joint operation down here. You know, they're gonna get this and this is kind of all they want. And then, you know, the rest goes to these guys. These guys over here are going to go ahead and say, hey, you see how we just, our other guys got completely obliterated? We're just gonna pull out of this war. You know, just pull on out and it'll be we'll all feel good about it, right guys? And these two are, and this guy's like, the Nationalist Republic's like, uh, we'll get you later, don't worry. They're like, oh no, I'm just kidding, we'll, we'll, we'll join you later. And they're, and they're like, we'll, we'll join. Yeah, it's just gonna be a straight border, right? Everything looks, looks like Europe now. Some European straight borders. Now, the communists are like, I just realized we just got scammed because, guess what? Don't border anyone else except these guys. And they just kind of went to war with these guys and they saw that they're way ahead in tech and just everything that is everything. And, you know, it's not really going to be fun if they have to go to war with them. And they realize that and they're like, build up over time until they get to a war with a big country over there, which may or may not be, uh, the Brazilians, the real Brazilians down here, the real Brazilian government, oh, crap, my bad, <laughs> forgot to say, they would probably fully annex most of the stuff, maybe puppet, like, the northern stuff that they don't really need and care about, like, you know, it's looking weird. You know, I just realized this is like almost like how it was in Europe for Germany. Germany right here. Alice would be over here though, not over here. There's flip-flop sides. Uh, they go ahead and say, yeah, we're good now. Communists will start building and building and building. Now, democratic people, uh, the, just Brazils, normal Brazils, like, all right, who's going to join us? And now everyone's like, not I, not I, not I. And they're like, okay, well, uh, sorry, bro, but you're going to be forced to join now. And they're like, no. So they guys immediately say, yeah, we're going to join. Because they're kind of weak, not having much, uh, access to stuff and you know it's gonna be pretty simple no sea border so they're gonna go ahead and get swept through and then they kind of just make a giant push out and they're using the other guy country's military and kind of just these two are the strongest but brazil is the strongest out of all of them so yay happy now. So like, yeah, we were going to give you independence, but you kind of just laid back and didn't use your military, and they're like, uh, we helped push out, and, uh, and Brazil's like, no, you didn't, sorry, we're annexing you in the peace deal. And, uh, yeah, that's kind of how it goes, you know? It's not always goes, you just kind of erase borders. Now, these guys down here, especially right here, are like, should we just, uh, join per uh, Uruguay? And Brazil's like, don't you dare join Uruguay. And they're like, uh, sorry bro, but that's 
it's too late already. We uh, we just did join our class. Bye. So with that, uh, Brazil kind of looks different, and immediately they say, uh, may we get annexed by you? And it's like, yes, yes, yes. Now, with the borders looking like this, it's looking uh, pretty weird, and. So these are like the buffer states where no one wants, really needs to take over. Besides, uh, these guys right here and maybe all this juicy population. And this, and this, and then, you know, how it goes. You know, they kind of just say, yeah, we're going to go ahead and just eat all this up. Uh, eat this, you know, we're going to go ahead and say, yeah, we're gonna like some of this. All these guys are non-aligned and neutral. They're like, oh, we're not gonna choose any sides because if we do, the other side will absolutely blow through us because these three are the strongest powers. So, mm, yes. I'm just trying to go. And obviously the bigger, stronger guys know this, so they're like, you know, let's just say we're annexing them. So, this is what the map looks like. Um, Here's what's gonna happen. It's doing this. Uh, these guys are gonna join the communists. So just remember that. War is declared upon Brazil, and Brazil says, "Oh no, why you do that?" And these guys get the man that has a little mustache, and you know he's like, "Rule the world. We will take back." everything that we have lost in, in the war before, you know, how it goes. So they're going to instantly start pushing out a lot, especially upon the Argentinian border, or all the other countries' borders, but mainly down here where Argentina is. Hmm. Let's just say there's some leaders coming out. Um, and they're gonna go ahead and push along the coast where most of these guys' population is. And it's looking like a pretty even so far. You know, they're gonna get a little deeper and the national Brazilian Republic or whatever is kind of stalemated, you know, that all the troops and it's stalemate. And they're like, oh, we need more land, we're hungry, let's go get something else, right? Uh, yeah. Obviously, they saw this coming, and they're like, we already had border, we already had troops built up, bro, I don't know what you're doing. But they had five million troops built up here, and it's just a, a onslaught of, uh, People's Republic of Brazil, and, you know, it's, uh, looking like a giant push is coming and they get so far and then they get stalemated some stuff happens a lot of like colder weather comes and they get pushed back a lot towards the center and then they regain it and then you know it gets kind of stalemated over there and now they got pushed on both sides and Part of their country, like the barely controlled, starts falling because they can't control their land. These police forces, um, so it's starting to threaten them. Their capital is about right here, so I don't think these guys could really ruin their dreams of everything. Um, in fact, uh and start spearheading towards, and they even get to the border and then kind of get stopped by all the police forces, especially all the ones right here. Kind of cut this off. They're trying to, and they lose that. They're gain, they're gain mostly over here, which is where the biggest invasion came of a few million people. These guys try advancing to a little place right here. They get beat, and that's like the biggest land battle, a single city battle ever. And they get pushed all the way out. All the way out. Uh, 
they pull troops away from Brazil away from Brazil so that they can resupport the front lines and this is where everything goes bad communists are really just flooding the front lines they even meet up with the out of the Brazil just normal Brazil and now they're doing a full scale invasion and it's just not looking too fun is it um these two sides Brazil and People's Republic of Brazil race towards the capital uh they're doing giant spearheads um but the People's Republic of Brazil kind of gets it and you know that's how it goes kind of get that and well the rest folds uh and the rest folds to the allies over Brazil you know and this is what it looked like in the end um it's gonna go ahead and stay that stay as occupied territory because no one's gonna fully claim the land because they each want to fully annex both of the territories um Brazil is obviously getting funded a lot by the West but since it's a civil war and there's no outside help as no one's on this map no one will be helping them and no one will be helping the communists now obviously Brazil is in a better place here and they're gonna exchange some lands out here and a lot of the lands uh, mainly like the northern and southern areas make it a better border looking uh, just better border and all just to make it look better oh no uh, because you know you want to look nice right right nope not there oh they kind of straighten out this border you know make it a little more curvy and not to your penny oh nope they don't get everything they just get this little area over here right here no, no, they, you know what? No, they don't get it because the communists are greedy. Say, sorry, bro, this is ours. But the communists go ahead and help with the border issues. And yeah. And this is where the capital is, so it's going to be kind of controlled and kind of controlled. You know, it's split. Capital split, and they control these occupied territories years and years pass and they still are in a armistice kind of and they're like no one wants to fight so eventually eventually this kind of a secondary civil war kind of breaks out uh these guys territory and it's a uh, you know pretty big I'd assume like pretty big a giant chunk breaks away and says we declare independence in fact it's actually coming from some of the homeland the motherland as you should say uh it's all breaking away especially some colonized or parts that they took over uh this stuff breaks away Kind of like the yellow it's all breaking away colonies are breaking away i guess you could say these guys are their homelands breaking away just everything's breaking away and it's not good at all um most of it breaks away except the northern i guess doesn't and you know they kind of start uh, uh imperializing this and saying yeah we're gonna go ahead and reach up and spread propaganda and whatever but eventually they kind of collapse in on themselves and you know one thing leads after another because these guys don't want to control lands and they want to be free in total freedom and so they do they overthrow the government and they become democratic and say 
We will be allies with you. We will be allies. Allies, that's it. Allies. And then like, see, see, we will be allies with you. As long as you don't declare war and backstab us or anything. And they're like, oh, no, 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 no. We don't do that. So, they split the country. Not in half, but, you know, fairly. They kind of set up a... Let's just say they kind of become a, I don't know, I don't want to say occupied territory, maybe a puppet. Yeah, they become a puppet. And so years and years pass, right? They're simulating this, they're making it better, uh, better, better and better, making them happy with the ruling government that's there, uh, just making it better for these guys. And eventually, eventually, Pair Uruguay still owns this. They're not too happy about that, but eventually, five years later, after so much stuff happening, so has finally accept it, and uh, they say, the puppet government says it's ready. And they activate the plan, and they integrate into each other. They've become... United Brazilians, United Brazilian Empire, I guess you could say. United Brazilian Empire. And they go to peace with everybody, and their civil war ends. And a retaking, but they lose some land, you know. I could even see maybe some of this being lost. Uh, maybe some of this being lost over here. Like, you know, maybe some more, getting more imperial borders. I could have even seen these guys maybe joining Uruguay too, so they could have been smaller. Um, maybe v Venezuela would try to take advantage of this, and Colombia would maybe try to get a little better border over here. I don't know. Just would make it look more centered, but... They are still the strong, strongest country in South America. It's just their military is maybe not fully intact necessarily and ready to declare war and stuff. And I guess take over everything. But yes, that is the Brazilian Civil War. If you guys enjoyed this video, do please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I will see you guys next time.